Now let's continue following this shape here with our points. And it's pretty close, so not a whole lot of adjusting needs to be done here. One thing I will need to do is just that center line of points so that they're correctly going down our model so that when we sub D it, things look smooth. I'm almost done here. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and just move these points here back up because it'll be a little bit quicker. And then I'd like to go ahead and select these and move them down. just to kind of smooth things over a little bit. I'll go back to vertices. And with that, I'll go back to faces, and I want to select all of these faces here. And back in perspective view, out of x-ray mode, I'll go ahead and extrude those faces. And move it down. About there. At two divisions. Object mode. Make sure everything looks pretty good, which it does. I'll go ahead and convert to sub-Ds. Delete the unsub -D version on the sub D version to smooth things out. And just like that, our model started to take shape. Let's go ahead and go to polygon mode and then the vertice mode. I'll go ahead and grab both of these vertices on either side and I'll scale those out this way. I'd also like to move those straight down, create a little bit more of a lip. Go ahead and grab these edges here. And just kind of scale them out a little bit. In vertices, I'll grab these. And just kind of move them out. And basically, all that I'm doing is smoothing things out a little bit. something a little bit more realistic like this. And let me go ahead and make sure I do this so that everything is symmetrical. little bit of adjusting. You can see we have a pretty nice looking mesh. So let's go ahead and simply go to edge mode here. And I'd like to actually, you know what, let's not do that. Let's go to polygon mode and select faces. And I'll go ahead and select these faces here. And they look pretty good. I'll leave them alone. I'd like to go ahead and select these though for sure. select them and move them out. And you can see we have a little bit of a problem when we do that. So what I'll do is simply grab all of these vertices, or faces here, like so. And I'd like to go ahead and stretch those so it's a little bit flatter, like this.
something a little bit more like this. And just kind of round the thing out a little bit. And then I will simply go to edge mode, select an edge, border edge tool. And I'll just select this edge, but actually I need to go to edge tool, I need to select this border edge on the, right on the inside of it. And after selecting that border edge there, I'll extrude it. extruding like that, object mode, standard, and our lightsaber is done. I hope you all have enjoyed this lesson, and um, I hope to see you guys in future lessons and future DVDs. Thanks guys.